The man swept up in all of this is not only an instructor, but also a swim and water polo coach over at Auburn Riverside High School. The district here tells us they only learned about this video being posted online last Friday, and the district says it immediately launched its own investigation. Now, I also spoke with one of these vigilantes who tells us while they also post some prank videos on social media, the video they shot allegedly with the South Sound teacher, they tell us, was no joke. What's she looking for? She's you like you're from around here, huh? Q13 News has blurred this video posted by vigilantes calling themselves, quote, predator poachers because the man targeted by the group Sting is yet to be arrested or charged with a crime. One of the men behind Predator Poachers says they pose as kids on dating apps to catch anyone looking to sexually abuse young people. There's too many out there and nobody's doing anything about it. I mean, these predators get slapped on the wrist and they even get convicted. And a lot of times the kids don't get believed with anything. Well, I got the picture right here, bro. The viral video was shot inside a Walmart in Texas and was posted to YouTube in July. Alex, who asked us not to share his last name, says he didn't know the stranger contacting him for sex was a teacher in the South Sound when he shot the confrontation. We immediately told him, like, I'm 14, then immediately starts talking sexual, like. And while Alex says his group did not immediately contact police about the alleged inappropriate contact, he claims to have shared the video with investigators at a later date. We really just hope the right pair of eyes see it, and in this case, they did. It wasn't until last week that a former Auburn Riverside High School student watched it and then told the school's principal that it looked like the Sting's target was one of their own instructors. We did have um, an all-staff meeting at Auburn Riverside this morning, and we also had a statement read to all students, and we have counselors available um, all day today in case anyone needs to talk about this. Auburn Police says it investigated reports of suspicious behavior against the teacher before, but didn't find enough evidence to make an arrest. School district officials are urging students or parents with concerns to come forward with information that might show inappropriate contact between a child and an employee. Meanwhile, predator poachers vows to continue their stings with hopes of saving children. Like we do want to make money off this eventually because it is a lot of nights staying up till 5 a.m. and doing stuff and a lot of times the predator doesn't even show up because they get too nervous so it's a ton of work but whether we made money or not we'd still do it anyway as frequently as we do. In Auburn, Steve Kiggins, Q13 News.